Hello there, I'm Captain Togo and welcome to one of my vlogs with me, Captain Togo. So yes, I'm here to talk about mostly about my thoughts on E3. Because E3 is a massive part of the development of games and well, I expect you'll probably want my perspective on it. So okay, let's start with Microsoft. The Microsoft conference was it was a pretty okay. It was most the most the most really thing I didn't like was the early access as I don't know why because it's a console or PCs it's better to do early access for PCs than consoles. They announced Tomb Raider, what looked more like an action game than an actual problem solver. Dark Souls 3, I don't give a toss about. Halo 5, yeah, Halo 5, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, well, it was really annoying because I had to watch, I had to watch it or play the game. I wanted to play the game because I've Nathan Fillion and it was one of the best actors. But anyway, going on, um, they announced Gears, Gears of War 4, was basically darkness with the moon. If you think gameplay, of it, it's just darkness and the moon. And then there's, then then there's doing their own Team Fortress 2 style game called Gigantic and this is running from like the Windows 7 Windows 10 sorry Windows 10 operating system well, I just think it's annoying it's a bit uh, it's like when it, if Microsoft wanted to get onto PC gaming they should have done they should have gone on PC right again years before or basically before they released the Xbox One but uh, the only good one thing I actually liked about it was the 3D Minecraft they added it. That was quite unique, unique, and I think it was one of the best, one of the only good bits that Microsoft actually did at that conference. Because you managed, because you could just basically, you're basically like God over on a freaking, on, on a table. Basically, people just see some random person over a table. But it's like when you put the goggles on, it's like, you become a God. Of Minecraft, a oh, god. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, going on to the EA um, conference was pretty good as they announced and a fourth Mass Effect. Finally, we're going to get a fourth Mass Effect. So I've really been hoping for that. Um, they announced an Eva Speed. Well, it looks kind of good. Uh, they released an expansion for the Old Republic, what seems pretty unique, and I'm very anxious to see how that goes. And then they have unwrap. Then they're going to talk about. Then they talk about unravel. Well, I think it's actually pretty of a good, good game. It's a pretty unique view. What is, um, Nintendo's been trying to take is now taking them, taken off. But I'll talk about that to Nintendo later. God, I have so much bad stuff about them. But going on, um, next is they finally making they making a sequel to Mirror Edge called Mirror Edge Catalyst, and that actually looks kind of good. Seems quite good, and it's a bit more open world than the first one. So. And then there's Battlefront. Well, I'm on. It it looks good. It looks good. It's freaking gorgeous. But there was another game. What was better than that in E3? Much better. Blows it out in the way. And that was Fallout 4. Even though it wasn't announced at the E3 conference, uh, more at the Methoda conference, that just blown away E3. So if I had to make a list, it would doubt <laughs> Fallout 4 would be top of the list. They will be the top. Battlefront will be the second. Will be in the close second with Just Cause 3, and I'll call and I'll talk about Just Cause 3 a little bit late later on in the video. But anyway, um, they announced they're going to make a Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Well, I just think it's well. I the gameplay I saw at E3, it just looks like enough. It's just like a rehash of the Mass Effect, you know, the Mass Effect multiplayer. 
I just think and just another survival game or something like that. Um then they talked about then they talked about EA Sports for about half an hour, just ridiculous, and as well as mobile apps, it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, they're making, they're also making a Star Wars mobile app called Galaxy of Heroes. That's not gonna go well because it looks pretty much like PS1 graphics. PS1. You don't. That does not sound good. For, and this is for a mobile phone. This is a mobile phone game. I'm not gonna like that. No one's gonna like that much. But just, I'm not sure that's gonna be popular, but you know. We'll have to see. And then, one of the most <laughs> ridiculous thing I thought EA to do was, um, what well, was first Pele, but second bit was, um, for when they were doing NBA, they were talking about a mobile app that will allow people to scan their faces and put them on to play onto the avatars on the game. What I think is funny is that, for the example, they use a black. They use an African American. I just thought, how sterical typical is that for my for AA to do? How sterical typical? Oh, that just made me laugh. But anyway, moving on. Um, after they talked about Fallout 4, I just talked about recently. They basically blown the show, and they talked about a bit of Skyrim Online and. This one too looks quite good, and they also talked about. There was another game they talked about, I can't remember what it was. But yeah, it's like Fallout 4 just blew the show away. Uh, then we go to Ubisoft. Uh, that was actually quite a good one, because they actually talked about a lot of different games. Because they announced they're making a second South Park game. Well, actually. <laughs> With an expansion of that basically goes right after the first game, the Stick of Truth, and it's more of a superhero type thing. And this has probably been inspired because of Marvel and DC mo um, universe, cinematic universes expansions like, over the next few years, I expect. Uh, there's For Honor, what what I think is actually quite good because. It's quite a unique, unique take, and no one has done this. It's a quite unique concept as well, so I really think this might actually go well for it. As this game has never been done before, and what I've, what I've seen, it seems pretty good. It really does. It really does look too good. I, I can't wait to play it. Um, they also announced an expansion to The Crew. What well, was basically Wild Run, where you basically just go around all of the US now. What well, I think, like what he said in the first game, is like saying, and when they first released it, it's like, oh, you can go anywhere in America. Now they're basically making Wild Run, was basically like, you can go anywhere in America. It's like, you said, when, you said when you first released it, you can go anywhere in America. But now you're saying you can. Again, yeah, it's just a bit confusing about the crew. Um, Trials Fusion is having a new expansion. It's basically just Deadpool. It's just a Deadpool DLC, or just calling it, calling them, calling it um, Awesome Level Max. It's basically like a unicorn breathing fire, but you're like a cat. Search it up. It's a true story. Um, they also talked about Division, what I love, I like, don't, I want to play that, that seems a really good game, really good game, and I don't, I do want to play that game, I do. Um, they also talked about Rainbow Six, which is actually kind of good, pretty good, Rainbow Six, pretty good game. Um, 
They also talked about Trackmania Turbo, but it seems like the only good F1 game I think I would like to play. No offense, but I'm the uh, pre the current F1 games I'm not that interested in. Sorry. Um, there's also Syndicate. Well, it's actually quite a good. Um, I'm a bit on the fence about Syndicate. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm quite on the bench about it because even though it's, I'm I'm re, I'm happy that it's in Britain. That it's taking some British aspects on it and taking a good bit of on um, British history. Why well, actually like and how how that can actually slot into Assassin's Creed quite well. But it's just the story I think is will be just ha where it will blow up in their faces or not. That's kind of like the same with Black Ops 3. Uh, that was really that was released that was announced during the Sony one, and the content they showed us on there was pretty all right because they they told they showed that co-op is back for. For it, what well, I'm happy about, as it was only in World at War, but now it's only be now it's only because I've only played up to Call of Duty 4. I've not played Call of Duty 3, 2, or 1. I don't know if they had co-op in it, but I know I do know that World at War had co-op, and none of the other recent ones haven't. So I'm really happy about that. Um. And then one bad thing was just basically them talking about Just Dance because I don't give a toss about that. Sorry, I just don't give a toss. Next will be the Sony conference, what I think was actually quite good. Because Gorilla Games, the creators of Killzone, they are releasing a new game. What I think is pretty good called Horizon Zero Dawn was well, pretty unique concept as if you watch the trailer if you watch the trailer or the E3 conference of Sony it's pretty different to what you expect because the because it's tribal because it's set in our current times, but it's like robots are animals, and we've become tribesmen. But they never actually tell you in the trailer what happened to us. So that's quite a unique, that's quite a unique um, take on post-apocalyptic world. So I'm going to be quite interested in that. They also talked about Hitman and becoming. Ma I think there was like an open world type thing. I'm not sure. They talked about Hit. Street Fighter Five. Well, seems quite ha well, seems quite good. As they've recently released Mortal Kombat, so they importantly need them release Street Fighter as soon as possible. Um, no Man's Sky. That seems quite a nice one. As No Man's Sky is a massive, like, space ship game there's like the galaxy it's just massive and that and even the developer says that the the galaxy is so expansive that may the planet they created may never be discovered never be discovered in the game by other players that's how big the galaxy is for it so I can't believe it's like that's going to be quite quite good because it's going to be, lead to a massive universe and a massive community to be created in that. It's going to be quite good. Um, they talked about Firewatch, which was more I see is quite good. Um, they talked about a little bit of the Batman game that Scarecrow's in it. Um, Uncharted 4, and and from that conference, I actually found out that 
Not even Drake actually had a brother. Surprise, I know. Surprising. Um, they also talked about View was well, actually a pretty much better service than the usual Sky or something. Or Sky and Virgin. As you can subscribe to single channels, to particular channels, than for like a particular box set. So if you wanted to watch sci fi, but you don't want to watch any of the other shows was in that package, you can just subscribe to sci fi or Siffy. And you don't need to watch then you don't get the other channels, you just get Siffy. So you can be more specific on what channels you want. Want to subscribe you want on your on your PlayStation view and that's and have a much better tele experience than going trying to flick through all the different channels all the time. So that's quite good. Um, they also talked about Destiny with the new expansion. Pretty skeptical about. Pretty skeptical because I want to play Destiny when the VR technology comes out because that's gonna be great. But I'm just a bit skeptical on Destiny because stuff I've heard about it is not that. You know, well, Firewatch, pretty good, because it's it's pretty unique concept. As it, you're like what a person who are uh, watcher, uh, like a national park, and you have this lady on the radio, and you're basically I think it's like some survival type game where you try and survive. I'm not sure because there's very little. Gameplay of it, though they only showed a like an announcement trailer of it. They didn't actually show us like any massive gameplay stuff. So, and there was like there's some comedy in it, so it's quite good. Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot in Fallout 4 they've actually added added comedy to it. What I think is really good, Fallout 4. But yes, yeah, I'm just basically try on. Basically, I'm just basically saying that I love, I love Fallout 4. And that was just the best game they announced at E3. But yeah, going on to Final Fantasy, as they're making a world of Final Fantasy again to introduce some younger people onto it. And they announced they're making a remake of Final Fantasy VII. Yes, that is right. Final Fantasy VII is made, having a remake from popular demand. That's what it is said from in the the um, conference, but I just think it was a teaser. It was a big teaser back in the day, back when they first viewed the trailer. Well, I just think I think they did plan for that, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know how Sony thinks it works. Um, they also announced the Kickstarter for Shen Shenju Three, what is a massive get was a old game. That many people wanted a sequel for. They wanted a third game for it. And like the main develop, the main developer for it, the like I think it was like the creator, or the main developer. He wanted to make a sequel, so he developed the Kickstarter. Sony invested about three to two million dollars into that Kickstarter from that announcement, showing that. Sony is actually do it's actually doing better like showing that Sony cares about their cus their customers, cares about people in the industry more than Microsoft. Because uh, Microsoft even though they want to do early access, it's not gonna help for any developers, I tell you. It's gonna make them look worse. But anyway. Uh what else? Um, the only bad thing was the Last Guardian was just really annoying. It was just, it was just yelling out the same thing again and again. It was like, oh, I tell you, if I play that game, I'll just get annoyed out there. I'll be annoyed hell. I'll just be saying, shut up all the time. <laughs> but anyway, the worst, the worst conference out of them all was Nintendo, as the only three things they announced was Star Fox, where they finally making the sequel for. 
Um, Blade Ecto Blade Chronicles X. What was a what is a game about Earth being destroyed in the middle in the middle due, as a consequence of war. Um, humans expanding throughout the uh moved and trying to find a new home somewhere else. Uh, well, it's kind of really, it's quite a unique concept, but I think it is. Uh, I don't want to see how Nintendo do that. And then there's Animal Crossing ha Happy Home Designer. Well, I think it's quite a good relaxing game, but and you know what, and you know how popular find Animal Crossing is, so you know. Rest of it, rest of of it was just just basically re remakes. It's just basically clones of itself. It is there was a really weird there was some really weird games on there. There was yeah. I'm not gonna bother now. You know, if you if you watch the conference, you know what that what I'm talking. About. But it's completely rubbish, so I don't think you watch it. The only thing is, they really, really want to basically say that, oh, buy amiibo, buy amiibos, and they're making amiibos for Sky Skylanders. Well, I just think it's like Nintendo is trying to make money out of the amiibos. When I first saw it, oh, it's been NFT collectibles they can have. But no, 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 no. They want to make money out of it. Money, money, money. I just think, pfft. and half the time during that conference, they were just talking about how they developed the games. Why well, just think it's, we don't want to know the, how you develop the games. We want to know what the games are and what we can expect from these games. But anyway, going on to Square X. That was quite a nice one because they talked about just cause free. Just cause free. Massive game. Freaking full of explosions. And you know why? Just cause. So yeah. I really can't wait for that. Um they may they're releasing a Lava Croft Go, but it's more of a puzzle than an action game. See it see? You can actually make a good Lava Croft game. Well it's full of puzzles, not full of action. Um, they also released, um, they also announced Deus Ex, as well as Hitman, as well, what I've been, you know, talked about in Sony. Um, Deus Ex, um, is, is a sequel to Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Um, and then they started talking about the Star Ocean, what well, seems quite good. Uh, Oh yeah, and one thing Square X did was quite funny. They did a massive teaser for um, Kingdom Hearts 3. So what they did is they they basically released the remake trailer for Final Fantasy 7. They released they first put that on, and then they talked for a while, and then they talked about Kingdom Hearts X Unchained. What was just really <laughs> There's like people that going, it's like Kingdom Hearts 3, we want to know. And then they went on to Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, I just think it's funny, it's like, you're not going to get Kingdom Hearts until the end. <laughs> well, I just think it's funny as hell. Oh, God. Um, and then, to the, and then, to finish it off, there was the PC gaming show. Well, it was alright. They had some pretty good games there. American Truck Simulator, that was kind of good. Microsoft saying that oh, we want to go into P, we want to go into PC gaming, and they're like, oh, for God's sake, you should. If you want to get, and like what I said before, if you want to go into PC gaming, you should have done it before, because it's a pretty hard game to it now. I mean, um, they even talked about Cutting Floor Two, was basically. Less was supposed to be basically a more techno style uh, Left 4 Dead survival game. Um, they talked about Star Citizen, 
What else? They, they talked about Eve Valkyrie, that seems alright. I'm a bit skeptical about that. Um, they talked about a game called Take on the Moon. What is? Well, I think it's quite quite nice because it, it seems like it seems like a more like a um, realistic like a simulator, space simulator. Really, it's just basically a space simulator. They're basically simulating how you move, how you can get to the moon, really. And then they're making then there's a the 60 bit um, Doom remake. Well, it seems quite well, quite nice. Because it's more of a retro style Doom, while as they're releasing a new as oh yeah, Bethesda's doing a Doom sequel, doing a um sequel to Doom. So, so those two go along well with each other. Um, Planet Coaster, they are do they releasing a Planet Coaster get that was a Planet Coaster game. Been announced. Um, well, it's basically like um, Coaster Tycoon, or was it? I'm not sure. It's like something Tycoon. Um, it's pretty much like that. There's like more of a modern version of it. Armor Three having an expansion of adding a new area to it. There was an announcement of Dirty Bomb. Well, I really recommend people watch people to busy watch watch that announcement trailer. Cause that is hell, that is funny. And also, Dirty Bomb is actually a pretty good game. I have to say, it does actually look kind of good from the gameplay what I've seen so far. So, uh, because some people have actually had early access to it, so. They also announced they're making like an ultimate edition for Gears of War, so I just think, and they're making it onto PC, so I just think that. This is another reason why Microsoft trying to expand into the universe. Total War making a Warhammer sequel, making a Warhammer game. Total War, Warhammer. I'm not sure about that. A AMD was talking about new graphics cards and stuff like that. Well, it seems quite well, quite interesting, but I'm more of a um, Navi, Navida um, graphics card person myself. Um, I think that's when about it. They also talked about there's a they're making a Fable Legends game. Well, I just think it's a bit rubbish because they re really, what they need is a if. No, fourth Fable game, not a pre prequel. And then they have a, and then they're having a game. They're also releasing a game. Well, it's like um, the Isaac game. If if anyone knows it, there's this game that came out called Isaac. Um, but there's a game like that, like that being released called Enter the Gun, the um, Gungeon. Enter the Gundam. Seems like sounds more like Gundam, but Gundam, like gun, um, dungeon gun, Gundam. But it's like it's basically like a mix of a shooter and a dun um, dungeon game. Where basically you go running around the dungeon and just trying to kill everyone, really. But that's really it. That's all for me three. What I saw. Overall, I think E three went. Very well. The big, basically, Fallout 4 was the biggest pit of the whole E3. Fallout 4 stole the show. A close, a close second would have to be Battlefront, to Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, and Just Cause 3. They were both equally close to the first place. But they won. They tied with each other at second because Fallout 4 it's a massive step, and due to the amount of time they spent creating, the amount of time they spent creating Fallout 4, and the amount of content Fallout 4 has surpasses Battlefront, regardless. 
And it's basically, and also it's a freaking Fallout game everyone wanted. So yeah, overall, E3 was alright. Microsoft did rubbish as usual, I probably expected that. As they didn't do well last E3, I'll tell you that much, when they announced the Xbox One. But yeah, so he did well, and but yeah, I can't wait to um, Just Cause 3, Fallout 4, and Battlefront to come out. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like as well, like us on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. Captain Sergo, signing off. Good hunting.